welcome to itsrafik in this video i am going to discuss the exercise answers of chapter 10 class 9 computer science it is the last chapter of your computer science book and it have many inside questions which i am going to discuss in next video but in this video i am going to discuss the exercise answers so at first fill in the blanks and true and false so I am not going to read all the questions line by line. You can see from the screen. First, uh, a multi-core system has only one processing element with it. So definitely it will be false only. Multi-core means multiple processor or multiple core core. So here you can see these answers which are displayed in blue color you can join to my telegram group if you want the powerpoint file of these answers also you can message me on email to get the file Here are the short answers. So the first one is define a multi-core system. Is Intel i7 a multi-core system? Explain briefly. So this will be the answer. What is a GPU? Why do you need why do we need GPU in our computer system? GPU, it's a graphical processing unit. It is a electronic circuit designed specially for manipulate graphics. Then come question number C. Define 3D and OC architecture. And here are the answers. What is NLP? Mention one critical challenge of NLP. NLP means the new uh, natural language processor or program. So one critical problem will be like uh, we have voice assistant Alexa and Google. Everyone. Uh, talking or speaking tune is different so sometimes they might get confused what we are speaking about they might uh, get confused between Indian tone and a British tone which have different pronunciation and different uh, voice modulization so this will be the challenge for an NLP then the next question what is utility computing? Name one of primary reason for its popularity in recent times. Utility computing means suppose I have a computer system, a very old one. Now, at what happened in technology, everything changes very fast. Now, my old computer system does not support the new technologies. So directly and uh, I cannot afford a new computer system then what I can do I can buy that utility through online and I can use it like uh, our computer cannot w act as a web server because we might not provide 24 hours electricity and even our computer processor will be not that strong so we can buy remote servers and we can publish our website on there so this will be a uh, utility computing then the next question what is mobile cloud computing how does the technology become handy for mobile phone to run several applications so this will be the answer
then the next question is what is mobile cloud computing how does this technology become handy for mobile phones to run several applications so generally what happen our mobile devices are run on battery and for that reason we cannot give too much uh, competition uh, competition pressure to our mobile processor to save the battery so whatever complex cal calculations or competitions we send them to our remote server they do the process for us and they directly send us the output so then write one major challenge for mobile cloud computing while running critical user applications so one major issue or disadvantage is it need very high speed internet and very high latency which sometime we may not have mainly who are playing online games you know what is latency means when uh, we have a, we don't have a good bandwidth or good network speed then what happen in your online game the character lags so this is the main problem of mobile cloud computing now long answers number a is multi core system is a good choice definitely it will be good choice so this will be the answer merits are it can process more than that uh, more data than a single core system it have less traffic than demerits or disadvantages they are much expensive than single core system multi core system use huge electricity and challenges are arranging many cores together is a very complex job then managing the resources for multiple tasks is also very confusing scheduling the applications for multiple cores it is also a very difficult job for the programmers then number b what is near memory computation how it is different from traditional computation why are scientists doing research on memory computation so what happen when uh, we are using our computer in traditional way the data or information are stored in hard disk but the main calculation or whatever information processed by cpu is taken from the main memory or the ram so this information or data should be copied from hard disk to ram so it takes time so the competition or the processing speed get little slower but what if we keep the information on the main memory only then the processing speed will be little faster so this is the concept of near memory competition then the next question next question what is machine learning explain its importance in today's era so this is the answer i am not going to explain you the answers now while i will explain the chapters then you will know this all the things deep learning machine learning and all then number d what is artificial neural network difference between deep learning and reinforcement learning so these are the answers uh you can write in your copy then number e write a short note on cloud computing so i have copied exactly same to same from your book you can write uh, the answers from 
internet also or you can make the answers yourself also so it does not mean that you will write only from the book the, the cloud computing is a very big concept because nowadays all the competition things are going on to the cloud only we are totally depending on cloud number f explain mec framework with a diagram how it is different from mcc mec means mobile edge computing so what happened when we are doing cloud computing in mobile the network it gave us trouble so what uh, we will apply mec to overcome from this problem as you can see the answer from here so you will write the answer like this way the difference between mcc and mec is mcc what happened when we doing computing with mcc it need very high speed internet connection so always we are not getting high speed internet and we are, we are not getting latency also so to overcome from this problem the pro uh, computer scientists develop a new technology that is mec or mobile edge computing and it brings the competition closer to the user then the next question what do you understand by iot how can iot impact human life in near future IoT means to place the computer simple uh, to connect our all day daily life work to the internet like paying bill, recharge, buying medicine means completely will all the tasks will do by using internet so this is known as IoT so this is the answer you can write exactly from here at present 26 billion devices are connected to the IoT. Thank you for watching. See you in a new video. Till then take care and bye. If you want uh, the answers in a document form you can subscribe to my telegram channel. Thank you.